arming ourselves with axes, pickaxes, and shovels. We get ready to stock up on supplies in the great cold area, the snowy biome, right beside our village. We need to be raising an army of snow apples because all my NPCs, except for this lone one, have disappeared. I don't know how this could happen. I don't know if uh, maybe skeletons see him from here and they get to be shooting at him. I do not know what is happening. But I know one thing for sure. We've got an infinite army of snow apples right beside us. All we have to do is be digging the pumpkins, not digging, planting the pumpkins in the dirt and be digging all the bodies for the snow apples. Now let me say, last time I had pumpkin I believe, yes, I use his head immediately, but this is two pumpkin plants They will be popping up very nice soon and we also have on the other side of the town a wonderful pumpkin patch That's growing swell. So let us get resources Everything except uh, for my face has been burned off in nether I just barely escaped the places only to fall into a lava lake, so... Oh, wait a sec. There we go. I thought, oh, if I put on Pestful, maybe I can live out the hunger. Well, no, fall into lava lake. It does not matter. If the lava gets you first, you'll never see the outdoors again. You know what we should be going to do? Thinking of the resources that we have already collected. We should backtrack in the maybe next episode on the path that I took when we thought we were going to be all adventurous in these things and uh, try to find the mushroom land unsuccessfully because the maps they suck. They do not, uh, they don't etch enough into where you walk. It's, it's pointless. It's like having a uh, toilet paper that is coated in the sand grains. Why you need this? It's not going to give you any relief. It's not. It's going to make things worse. You get infections and such. It's no good. No good. So why use map in Minecraft? It's useless. It take you only to the point where you already already know what the land look like, and then say, "Oh, I'll look like you're on your own." Good luck guessing the world from here. See how your memory skills will do. I look what it takes to get back on, and uh, it's a lot of uh, something from Nether called a Nether Star. I oh jeez, Minecraft these days is getting too complicated. I remember the days, comrades, when you could just big dig in the big dirt, and you had to worry about the spiders sometimes in showing up in the dark. And that was it. It's very simple world. I did n I had uh, Alpha, even something before Alpha to test out the Minecraft system and I believe it was a version with no working doors. You imagine that? No working doors. None. Nothing anywhere over that could be used to cap out the crappers. But I learned something valuable also about these snowballs which we are having to return quite quickly to our convent over there. A little community. Of now one said lone NPC. I want explanation. What happened to all of the NPCs? I put many doors in there, so I thought they might bread. Then they all disappear. Was that a hoax? Do they have some kind of NPC dark magic that they could use doorways to open new dimensions for? Oh, the most delicious melons are made here. I do not know. The whatever is destroying my villagers will have to answer to my snow army. Not yet though. It's not done growing. They're all planted in the pumpkin patches. Which make me think I should probably at some... Yes, that, that was me. Trying to swim through the lava. Not Theo. 
opportunity on to play this game he get it he play a couple modes in alpha I say I are Vlad you go do something for channel I not stop since he give to me it should really be called Vlad Amerzis Minecraft he fall into lava and swim but you cannot change the username of uh, your original Minecraft the purchase so I'll keep that in mind if somebody get for you as gift maybe say I don't get the whole game for me just get gift code or these things well the snow biome it was expanding into our NPC village woes because uh, well we're shuffling it up now for our snow city protection system I am not so sure though how reliable these snow golem pebbles are going to be I had done a little bit of experimentation with the one pumpkin head I had before and uh, he ran away. He he was in the village. He go running on the roofs. He's got amazing platforming abilities. He saw hardcore parkour all over my place, and he left. I never see him again. Maybe he is out in these fields right now. He melted, and he had to get out of my place. I don't know why he left. Maybe. Maybe if we keep him in uh, the pens with the NPCs. It will do better than Crapper Cat. I realize Crapper Cat is only good troll if you are walking with him. If you are uh, just leaving him to be, he's not going to do anything but take a nap like a cat does normally. He say, oh, what do I care if the villagers get blown up? It's obviously not Crapper doing this. I don't know if maybe zombie infest my village or... I don't know, I'm thinking it is bright enough, but at night that there are crappers all around the perimeter of my fence and these things. So it's very possible that uh, they could be, could be snatched up or shot at night by the camping skeletons. Oh, it's very possible. We will uh, get the snow level surface goodies in this episode. In next episode, we'll go around to all the places that I had things stored in chests. Maybe uh, mark out the landway system a little bit better. This way we can return for larger, longer expeditions out in those regions. Because there is towns over there, and I think we need towns for trading of carrots. Which, if we do this... Oh, have we got a new mode of transportation? Uh, transportation comrades transportation uh, what is that like a teleportation transportation uh, transportation back to the snow house snow is actually very good building material I not talk about it much because uh, I really don't like the cold is why I move away from Siberia uh, but uh, I guess I'm going back to cold in the Colorado so you kind of do a circular journey in these days, eh? But, uh, you know, it's good building material if you're to be spawned off in the first parts of Minecraft in the snow biome. Pumpkins! Then it is uh, very beneficial for you to use this as a material, because unlike the wood... Alright, we've got to put some things away first. Unlike the wood... You do not need the uh, fancy equipment, it is just helping us faster with the shovel. Shovel might not even be necessary, could in fact just be overkill. But I like to have shoveling snow, so I don't have to get my hands freezing. I don't have gloves in Minecraft. But, uh, you know, 16 on those, and you put them on the crafting block, and you got yourself one block. It is snow block, you cannot make any... Uh, no, I you cannot make stone or into snow pickaxe or snow shovels. You shovel to snow out of the way, but uh, cannot make shovel out of snow. It is is not a good building material. You go into the dirt is like nether. It will evaporate your shovel, as if it was bucket of water on the surface of nether. Go shh, instantly out. Right, piggy. Yeah, you like to be better around with shovel. I know you do. Oh, thought that was some kind of rare item I lose behind me. Well, we've got a track of snowballs. 
so you can of course make uh, the snow house igloo if you want if you've got the snow biome for it or you make the snow guards which I could show you how to make actually I could make one right here before our very eyes let us wait to get back to village when we do that because I want to actually have useful security guard so I'm going to put the, the one first snow person in a locked enclosure with the one NPC I got left I want to be observing his behavior see if he can climb outside the fences if he not climb outside the fence then the next set of army guys will go in the pen with the animals because that is a large sector of my village unprotected and very open to sniping skeletons and the annoying slimes that sit there wet squishy sound like you come in step on the bog when you think it was solid ground but you step in the bog from outside your socks do this squishing noise everybody say hey take off your boats it is what it would be sounding like in my head every time every night they fall the slimes they come back and I don't know what they're good for I guess you could use the slime balls like snowballs in the way that you throw them at enemies I do a little bit of uh, research for when we go back to nether comrades is right I'm actually looking up on the wiki after I uh, okay over a 300 episodes or so with Minecraft, I mean not officially but you count up all the things from season 1 and then the Minecraft live streams with uh, this is a lot of Minecraft finally I go to wiki and I read up that the blast pebbles they no like the snowball so we're getting too much of the snowballs apparently my inventory no like the snowballs either here let us drop useless sets try and Katamari all the balls we can before going off to our barracks. So I think it do a three damage to the blazes, which is very beneficial. Oh, we got to eat some food while we get back as well. This very good damage rate is bigger than anything I think that you could hit the blaze with. Wow, did this snow just come back like that, or is my eyes deceiving me? I do not know. Maybe the snow golem is still somewhere. Making snow in his tracks. Making snow as his tracks. So we've going to use the snowballs not only to build up army for NPC village. But take a little bit of that with us. Next time we go to nether. Okay so let's put these on the crafting table. And get ourselves some snow bricks. Now the way that you make the snow pebbles is not like uh, the typical crafting method. You actually have to craft in the real overworld. Two blocks like that and one pumpkin they had. Alright snow person. I'll be watching what you do. Now they can't fire anything over here. I don't want any firing going on. No arrows, no snowballs, no nothing. It would be amazing if I could find... I don't want this open either. It would be amazing if I could find new villagers to go into this village somehow. I know the Gen Z has a world where he was making an NPC platform bridge for them to be cattle herded over from one village to another. But uh, let's be honest, these villagers not much to offer. They sure do want a lot to give nothing. I'm not giving you emerald for nothing. You must be crazy. Such rare item, why would I give to you for flint? Something you find in gravel, which is practically everywhere. Very useless item. Except when making uh, the arrows, which I lost all those to nether too. When the whole time, if I just read the wiki... I could have been using those snowballs as very effective weapon. So you're leaving and learning what you're going to do. Put snowballs in here is what I got to do. And the snow blocks. Eventually we have to take them all out. Make more snow blocks. But I think you get the point. I'm going to do this a couple more times. Oh, it's very nice. We could watch our pet snow golem. And the one NPC interact. Maybe they crossbred. Maybe they make snowy NPC jack-o'-lantern pebbles. 
Uh, I don't I don't think this possible. But uh, you know, maybe we'll see. Our village was getting very nice, even though the NPC residency is way down. We will see by nightfall if the Jack O' Lantern helps at all. In the next episode, we go get our items back. I want that gold. <laughs>